convalescent plasma. It's a gift from someone who has recovered from COVID-19 to someone still fighting. The demand has doubled in the last four to six weeks. We expect it to continue to grow with this approval. But the FDA's decision to authorize emergency use of convalescent plasma can only help if plasma is available. And right now, the American Red Cross says it's dealing with a shortage. Do you have enough to go around right now? No, we do not. They're not the only ones collecting plasma. The Blood Connection's also working with area hospitals. Holding pace, but uh, again, it's very tenuous. Um, I think what we're taking in is pretty much what's going out. Use of convalescent plasma for COVID-19 isn't new to Triangle Hospitals. It's still not clear how effective it is. To be able to answer that question fully, we need, you know, formal randomized clinical control trials. Dr. Luther Bartelt is running a clinical trial at UNC. The hospital's treated about 160 patients with convalescent plasma so far. Our trial is looking at uh, dose response. But having enough plasma at any hospital depends on the generosity of people who've recovered. It means 95 percent of the people out there can't give this product. Only 5 percent can. And how do we get them to come in? That's our challenge. While blood centers offer incentives like gift cards, for the most part, donors just want to help. We have really been uh, quite overwhelmed by the altruistic responses we, we've had. They have basically seen what this disease can do and how it can ravage a, ravage a family. That is incentive enough.